I've been roughing it in the garden. So this is Peggy. Oh, I may call you Peggy. Please do. <laughs> and this, of course, is Mother. <laughs> Charmed, I'm sure. You know, you're really quite different than I expected. Don, your taste improves as you grow older. I knew you'd like Peggy. It was so nice of you to invite us. Well, it was so sweet of you to accept such a sketchy invitation. Oh, we didn't mind after we understood. We thought it was terribly sporting of you, didn't we, Mother? So nice and modern and all that. <laughs> yes, as I was saying to Sally this morning, it's so nice and modern to be modern and not care whose husband belongs to who. It's very broad of you, I'm sure. It isn't every woman who would invite her husband's fiancé down for the weekend, if you know what I mean. You know, my dear, you're not exactly what I expected either. Dawn is most unappreciative. Well, I can't imagine what you expected. Have you been misrepresenting me, Dawn? No. Oh, it isn't that. Not at all. <laughs> they probably expected to find a mildewed old frump with thick glasses and wrinkles. Woolen stockings. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, it's too delightful. <laughs> just, just a minute. How about a game of croquet? Oh, he probably thought I was going to stab you, Peggy. <laughs> Ridiculous. Why should you want to stab Peggy? <laughs> Don't mind, Bill. He's the nervous type. Nerves nothing. I have a complex about these things. I don't like girls playing with paper knives. Cut themselves. Yes. What's the point on that? You mustn't mind Mrs. Ross. She's been disappointed in love. She has not. I hope we didn't say anything. You haven't said a thing. Sally's always like that when she's in the country. I like the country. Don't you like the country, Mr. Ross? Yes, when I'm in the city. Oh, I see. And when you're in the city, you like the country? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay too much attention to him, Mrs. Preston. He's a great kidder. <laughs> oh, here's tea. Were you poor, Peggy? I suppose I might as well get used to it. Aren't you having tea, Mr. Ross? I never touch it. My doctor tells me it's poison. Really? I'll get you some. I hope you're not trying to poison me. Oh, oh no. It only affects some people that way. Oh. I knew a chap once who drank tea until he burst into a rash. Oh, I'm Would you believe it? He lost 50 pounds in five weeks. Of course, that didn't affect him so much because he weighed over 250 anyway. Oh. <laughs> or was it coffee? No, it was. It was tea. It was tea. green tea, yes. Same constituency, you know, as leather. No. My doctor told me that one cup of green tea... Oh, Bill, Bill. Mrs. Preston came down here for a rest. I'll tell you some other time. Oh, <laughs> Don, are you comfortable? Oh, yes, thank you. Well, you won't be, because Peggy and I are going to discuss you very frankly. What? I give him to you, my dear. With all my worldly husbands, I thee and thou. Isn't that being a perfect hostess? With a half a pound of tea. I love my present. Does that include all pedigrees and uh, other papers? Oh, you mean a divorce? Yes, indeed. 